What? What, what the fuck is that? Is that? <laughs> it's my Papa Smurf, get off there! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are going to do a little something different. Everybody knows the Olympics has started and a lot of people are talking about the opening and we, I don't think any of us are actually following the Olympics, but we thought because of the picture that we've seen, it might be good for a good conversational piece. So we're going to look and see what Mr. Officer Tatum has to say, because all three of us follow him and we love him. So Yeah. So yeah, shout out to Officer Tatum. I freaking love that guy. I will definitely tag him. I'm not saying he's going to say anything, but... <laughs> If he did, I'd be like, I'd feel like yeah. starstruck or something. Okay, because well, I love Tatum. <laughs> yeah, me too. Because like when LFR actually, yes, he's following us. Yes. Yeah, he's following us. <laughs> and when he started following us, I think I about jumped out of my skin. <laughs> I know. I love. I man. love man. I love him. I okay, love him. Uh, somebody keeps texting me somewhere. I'm gonna turn all this off real quick. Uh, okay. So yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, hang on. I need to pull this up over here. Okay. Performing the song King Costumes, none other than Louis Vuitton. <laughs> what? Why? I, 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 all I want to know is why. What does this have to do with sport in the Olympics? That's what, what I'm wondering. <laughs> oh my, my, my. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. We'll get you some merch on the Tatum Store. Like and subscribe to the channel. We have the biggest one of those thing I want you to do is hit the like button. Exactly like Let's this. get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, we can't escape this stuff, man. I, 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 I don't know what these people are thinking. What does this have to do with the Olympics? There is nothing athletic about none of this. And I'm not even talking about the big one in the middle that's <laughs> acting like she Jesus. But since you want to play like you Jesus, then I, I, then I have an opportunity to, to make fun of you. You making fun of and mocking oh. Jesus of Nazareth, then I'm going to make fun of you looking like a greasy pig. Look like somebody going to put on a roast and roll over. 400 pound Jesus. Come on, get, get out of here. Jesus is skinny. Now let me play this clip so y'all can see the foolery. Why though? Why? Why y'all putting this in our I'm face? I'm dead. And just, just keep. He keep said a grease pig. If you can. King costumes. Why is she greasy though? <laughs> did they not? Did somebody not get the memo that she probably wiped them arms off a little bit because she looked greasy? All right. Stop, Brandon. And this one got a beard. <laughs> Look like Mustafa or somebody. <laughs> what are y'all doing? For a Pause it for a second. Oh I don't know why. Do y'all remember Thundercats? Yes. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thundercats! Thundercats! Oh! <laughs> Tell me that, that don't look like Thundercats. Mm, okay, I do got something to say after we're gonna watch this first. Okay. okay Ooh, keep Lord. Going. Didn't they put a kid in there? Uh, Did uh, they knock uh. in the Last Supper? Listen. Except for the kid, this if y'all see again. anybody, any one of these people, when you pass, you went to hell. I just want you to know you went straight to hell. Who they, are that's the only place they going. There? They in there, and y'all all, all going to be in there hot. She already hot. She already hot for what she doing. She already sweating. <laughs> <laughs> you know you going to hell when you mocking Jesus. You already sweating. <laughs> oh, God. God dang. <laughs> Why, why they didn't mock Islam? They, uh, won't they mock Islam? I dare you. Won't you mock Muhammad? These are oh, all of these. Be, these will be heads. All it be heads laying on the table <laughs> if y'all are mocking God. Islam. Okay. Mm -hmm. Back though. Some of them be fine off this building right here. They be throwing <laughs> one one building for each one of them. One of them be flying off oh of this gosh. one if they mock this long. Put your money on it. Wait, what the fuck is that one wearing over there? Why? I don't know, but what is even going on? What? What, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's my 
Papa Smurf, get off there! My childhood has been ruined. Ah. Why the beard, oh my god. I don't know about y'all, but I have a feeling that Sodom and Gomorrah kind of look just like this. I feel like this was like Sodom and Gomorrah every weekend. And this is how they end up taking an L. And, oh. and, and in Europe, they wonder why stuff is going south. They wonder why. They, you guys keep playing. Keep playing with Jesus. See, you can be flamboyant and do your thing in your own environment. Why y'all got to mock Jesus them, though? That's why y'all can't be blessed. And y'all keep playing around. It, it, so y'all, y'all, the favor of the Lord will escape you. And all the terrible things that you mock Christians about are going to happen to you guys. I don't know why they keep playing with Jesus. It, it's just crazy to me, man. Why don't y'all stay in y'all lane? It's like, it's like somebody poking a bear. The bear over there doing their own, his own thing, eating berries, doing—he just chilling, farting and chilling. <laughs> and somebody going, that bear is oh very God. dangerous. You see, you see how dangerous that bear is. That bear don't want me to be here. That bear don't want me to exist. The bear is against me. Let me go poke the bear, and they poking him, poking him, poking him. And the bear's like, man, watch out, bro. I'm, I'm doing my thing, man. Get, get, get back, man. Get back, get back. I'm chilling. I'm chilling right now. I'm in my environment. What are you doing? Why don't you go hang out over there? Why are you messing with me? Poke the bear, poke the bear, poke the bear. The bear bite. Claws. <laughs> <laughs> Just get mauled. Then they sit there with the, have their face hanging out. See, I told you the bear was mean against me. No, man, the bear doing his thing. You playing. We doing our thing. Y'all want to do all this. Nobody into this stuff, man. Just a few freaks on the, on the weekend. <laughs> hey, wrong. Saira, as I said, Asiat Saira. All will be well. Well, this. Part of the ceremony is entitled Liberty and the Quest for Liberty. No, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm terrified of heights. That's a no-go for me. Greasy and a little sleazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take it. A little wheezy, a little greasy, and a little sleazy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Fucking seven doors and shit over here. <laughs> I got so many words I want to say and so many nicknames. But I really want to be a good Christian, so I'm gonna try to slow down a little bit. Cause the one with the beard got a name, and then you got look at look at Luther Vandross over here. What are he doing? Swimming? <laughs> Y'all can't see Luther over here. Luther Pencost over here swimming, knowing he can't swim, but he's swimming. He's swimming in. A, <laughs> they got the baby. <laughs> the oh, they got the black man acting like he's swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he like that? He's swimming over here. <laughs> I can't. They this just doing up, too Brandon. much. <laughs> the stereotype, yeah. sir. I tell you what, I wasn't even trying to go there today. I'm, I'm yeah, trying to be Brandon a good, good Christian and, and, and hang out and, and, and just live and let live, live, live. And these fools up here at the Olympic Games blaspheming as their opening act i just don't understand where they get y'all explain to me how they doing this and why they doing it just put it in the comment section just tell me in the comment section know. hit the like button i see y'all in the next one i don't know i'm out of here we want to know too yeah oh my yeah. gosh like i mean really what does that have to do with the olympics i don't know uh there's something i gotta find it real quick Dude, could you imagine having to play a guitar or drums up on that building like that? That's a well, no-go for me. Well, what freaked me out was the satanic, like, whatever well, was yeah, in mean, that too. head. Like, what the fuck was that? That was, like, the off-with-her-head uh, Mary, Queen Mary, whatever, uh, you know? So here's a different take on it. I read this on Facebook. But yeah, that, that was creepy. I read this on Facebook. There's a different take on it. Somebody said... Dearest gentle reader, I'm about to step on some toes in regard to the opening ceremony 
at the Paris Olympics. Uh, the headless woman was Marie Antoinette. She ruled Marie over, Antoinette. There you go. She ruled over France and was found guilty of treason, conspiracy, and stealing from the country. Sound familiar? Also, it was not the Last Supper. It was a uh, depiction of an ancient Greek. <coughs> I can't even pronounce that word. Because you know the Olympics are ancient and uh, Greek surprise. And if you didn't know, but I can't pronounce that damn word. <laughs> uh, is, uh, can you sh- oh, I was going to say, can you show, can you spell it? <laughs> uh, I probably wouldn't do any good either. But let me, I'll post it in Discord. Maybe you'll, you could say it. I don't know. It's a, it's, it's a, I don't even know if it's English. <laughs> Mel was like, I don't know that fucking word. <laughs> Dude, I that's me so many times. Like, I'm like, nah. What the fuck is that word? Exactly. Uh, bo- See? Bacchanalia. Uh, is it uncontrolled? And Aaliyah. Look, I'm just. Bacchanalia. I am going to just. I'm going to let Lacey read it. She's a better reader than me. I can spell the words. I just can't say the words. So, look. Oh, dear me. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to pick up where you left off. Uh, Let's see. Uh, It's the last supper. It wasn't the last supper. It was a depiction of an ancient Greek bacchanal because you know the Olympics are ancient and Greek. Okay. Uh, Surprise. And if you didn't know, a bacchanalia is an uncontrollably promiscuous, extravagant, and loud party. Well, that sounds familiar. The parties often span several days, which honored the god of wine, Bacchus, the blue guy covered in grapevine. Grapevines, I think he meant. He is also known as Dionysus. Dion, Dionysus. Dionysus. Why, why can't y'all just spell shit regular? Like, Greek people are <laughs> weird. Uh, the Greek god of fertility, later known as the god of wine and pleasure. And finally, it was not death on a pale horse. It was Sequana goddess of the sea sea the river in which the boat procession took place she was meant to be the representation of the olympic spirit of sequana i'm glad it's like i i it's cool that you these going into all this but if they expect the rest of the world to know this kind of bullshit yeah they're tripping okay right. Uh, If some of you weren't so busy trying to end the Department of Education, you might know this. No, no, we want to end the Department of Education because we don't know this. Right. I agree with you on that. Right. Because I had a good education. I had a good education, um, but we didn't learn that. So there you go. Uh, That's why we need a better education system. Uh, Loosen the clutch on your pearls. I don't own pearls, but cool. Uh, yours truly, Lady Fr- Lady Francis, a lady, lady. Are you sure you know what a lady is? Uh, Paris is back on its feet, jubilant, flamboyant, creative, and open and free. Thomas Jelly, the artistic director. That's such a fucking random quote. <clears throat> Edit. Art is free thinking. You're allowed to interpret it in different, uh, differently from others. Art is expressive. Well, if if you're allowed to express, if you wait, if. If you're allowed to interpret it differently from others, then what is the point of you writing this? Yeah, I agree with that. See, I didn't read it all. I just read a little bit of it. Yeah. Art is ex- uh, is expressive in nature and it involves creativity and imagination. Art evokes emotion. I never thought my posts or views on what I had researched for myself would go viral. I hope that if you're reading this, you do not you do your own research. You do not have to agree with me. What a boring world this would be if we all thought the same. In America, you can share your information without threatening remarks, death threats, or crude candor. Please read the following article translated from French to English. I will pass on that one. But, um, you know, it, it's like, I mean, it, it's just a stretch to me, right? Like, mm. I mean, well, the whole the whole thing is weird. Like, if, if that's all true and accurate then i mean do they just anticipate the rest of the world knowing that stuff right okay here's where where i'm at at the end of the day okay end of the day yeah end of the day no matter what you're trying to 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 now simply state in whatever statement we just read regardless of whether it's true or not right yeah 
<laughs> it was over the top. It was done on purpose. You knew how it was going to be interpreted. You knew that the whole world is not going to like it. Yep. There's no way that you put this together, right? And, and hopes that someone would understand what you were, what what this lady was trying right. to say. There's no way and you knew that that was yeah. not. And what did it have to do that. with the Olympics? It, well, that's because of the origin of the Olympics is what this post is oh, trying okay. to say. But, yeah, but but it it does. But we but who knows this information to know that that's what you're trying to depict, right? We don't know yeah. that. It looks over the top. It looks like you're just supporting all of the rest of the chaos that's going on in the world that you want to be very progressive that is what it looks like yeah right. exactly how we Carol. there is nothing about it that spoke to like unity you know what i no. mean it was very one-sided to to pander to one specific group of people a very small minority group of people mind you yes uh and they knew sp they knew that that was going to piss a lot of people off and but they knew it was going to cause controversy and i believe that's why they did it because i yep. and this is where this is where i cannot fault them is it is brilliant marketing mm -hmm. because now everyone who was not paying attention is paying attention and they're now watching for more of this because that's just how it works. But now eyes are on the Olympics happening because of that one opening act, right? They knew specifically it was going to cause controversy. It was going to go viral. It was going to be a big deal. And now they're going to have way more people probably watching the Olympics than not watching the Olympics because of that. So smart marketing, but um, yeah, fuck y'all. I think it was poor taste all the way around. Right. It was poor taste. Yeah, definitely poor it was, taste. Uh, yeah. It was distasteful. E effective, so, but uh, poor taste. Yep. Not, not a yeah, fan. I, but no, not at Mel, all. Do you, have, do you have anything else you would like to add, Mel? No, I just, I agree with y'all. I agree with everything y'all said. Yeah. I don't either. I don't have anything else to try to say about that. All right, guys. Well, uh, make sure you guys check out our um, our storefront. Well, we have a storefront. It'll be linked. Oh, yep. Wait, it'll be linked. It'll be linked <laughs> below. Yeah. Um, for the for Bitter Betty podcast, um, we also have an Etsy account as well. Uh, if you want to check those out, and if you'd like to help support the channel, those links are in there are well. You can um, donate for you know just just because you love us, or if mm -hmm. you'd like a certain request, you can drop that in the donations as well. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.